She is a three-time world champion triathlete and now has Rio on her mind. And she's a young woman whose story is inspiring both young and old. So how many of you know somebody that served in the military? These elementary school kids are in awe. After all, it's not every day they get to meet someone training for the 2016 Games in Rio. Meet Melissa Stockwell. So I'm training. I train every day for it. Triathlon training to swim, bike, and run at the Games. I'm currently ranked number two in the world, so I'm hoping that that's enough to to, to have my name on the list, so hopefully I'll be competing in Rio later this year. But what makes her story unique? What makes her dedication so inspiring is she is doing it all. That I can do more in my life with one leg. With one good leg. April 13th of 2004, I was on just a routine convoy through central Baghdad, and my vehicle was struck by a roadside bomb, which... Could be a long story, but to make it pretty short, resulted in the loss of my left leg above the knee. Stockwell was a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army. The blast took her leg, but she says it gave her determination to not let that slow her down. I knew I would be able to walk. Yes, I saw, I, but I didn't know what to what extent my life would be. You know, I was 24 years old. I had both my legs, and suddenly I was missing one. Now her Olympic dream is her main focus, along with sharing her story. I'll always be proud to have worn the uniform. To the next generation of soldiers and or Olympians. A lot of them might go through the majority of their life never seeing somebody with a disability. And when they do see someone with a disability, they might feel sorry for them. They might wonder, you know, maybe they can't do this or this. And I want them to learn early on what somebody, you know, missing a leg is still capable of. So for now, her training will continue. Melissa says she will find out on July 8th if she will represent the United States of America's Paralympic team in Rio.